last time we was here we installed these plants all along the border uh, this time we're going to be laying down a good weed barrier and putting down this uh, marble chips like white stone man i think it's going to look awesome especially on these flowers I'll give tay the credit for that one he's the one that recommended the marble chips uh, we got to pressure wash this porch, put the chips in, this white rock right here. Last time we was here, we put all these plants in place, uh, and she just doesn't want to deal. Well, for one, she's got a puppy. I'll say puppy. She's got a dog, and uh, she's trying to discourage him using this area. She wants to try to push him over here, so that's one reason we're installing the rock. Uh, besides the fact that it's just going to look freaking awesome, uh, there's that too. So anyway, we're going to prep this area, get all these sticks up, weeds up, put a good quality weed barrier down, especially if you're doing rock. You do not want to have to redo this in two, three, four, five seasons. You want to try never to redo it. Eventually it's going to have to be redone, but this right here will last a good long time. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together it's so beautiful All right, guys, here we are. We got the weed barrier installed. Uh, so go heavy with the weed barrier, guys. Uh, one thing to keep in mind if you got plants that you're trying to cover is your plants may need a little extra attention, especially in some of these locations, it's double and triple thickness. So this is water permeable. Water is gonna be able to get through it. Um, but that does not mean uh, that rainwater alone is going to do it. So again, I would go ahead and at least once a week or something similar, make sure that you're watering them uh, just, to, just so they're getting enough moisture because it's going to be more difficult for sure for moisture to get up under that barrier. So we throwing this rock down. Man, it looks good. It is looking great. Uh, we got to go get some more rock. We'll uh, keep you updated. See you guys in a minute. All right, guys. This is 45 bags down. Probably still got another 20 to 30 to go. Hey, it's looking good, man. Yeah, what she wanted to put regular pea gravel in here, but. I'm glad that Tay talked her into using this white rock because man, it's sharp. So anyway, you want something more permanent, something you don't have to fool with every year, something that's gonna last some seasons uh, down the road, maintenance free. And I mean, come on, it looks better than mulch. I mean, you know, that's a personal deal, but in my opinion, it uh, definitely looks better than mulch. And it's going to way outlast mulch. So anyway, you in the middle of Tennessee area, you want something like this, give Mountain Movers a call. Check us out on Facebook and you can just hit us up on Google. Mm -hmm. 